subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer. Google Cloud Platform has achieved the highest status, and the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer certification is greatly recommended for its applications in analytics, machine learning, and cloud native. Who should take the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer exam? The chief perspective of the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer exam is to screen the caliber and proficiency of professionals in applying the tactics of the cloud platform. Candidates are screened in handling the responsibility in the efficient development of operations and to balance service reliability and delivery speed. The Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer exam is primarily designed for these professionals. First, on-premises IT system administrators. Second, cloud solution architects and application developers. Third, DevOps professionals with industry experience. Fourth, aspiring DevOps professionals with limited GCP experience. Fifth, on-premise system engineers. Next is, expertise validated. Professional cloud DevOps engineer validates the expertise of the candidates in. First, applying site reliability engineering principles to any service. Second, optimizing service performance. Third, implementing service monitoring strategies. Fourth, building and implementing C or CD pipelines for a service. Fifth, managing service incidents. Exam details. The professional cloud DevOps engineer will comprise of around 102 multiple choice and multiple select questions. Candidates will be assessed on the basis of these questions. As far as the exam duration is concerned, this exam will be for a duration of four hours. An application fee of $200 plus tax where applicable is to be paid to take the exam. Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Content Outline Google Cloud Platform provides a well-elaborated exam guide containing the exam domains and its objectives. First, applying site reliability engineering principles to a service. Second, building and implementing C or CD pipelines for a service. Third, implementing service monitoring strategies. Fourth, optimizing service performance. Fifth, managing service incidents. Let us now discuss about content outline topics in detail. Domain 1, applying site reliability engineering principles to a service. It contains three subtopics which are. First, balance change, velocity, and reliability of the service. Second, manage the service lifecycle. Third, ensure healthy communication and collaboration for operations. Domain 2, building and implementing C or CD pipelines for a service. It contains seven subtopics which are. First, design C or CD pipelines. Second, implement C or CD pipelines. Third, manage configuration and secrets. Fourth, manage infrastructure as code. Fifth, deploy C or CD tooling. Sixth, manage different development environments, for example, staging, production, etc. Seventh, secure the deployment pipeline. Domain 3, implementing service monitoring strategies. It contains five subtopics which are. First, manage application logs. Second, manage application metrics with stack driver monitoring. Third, manage stack driver monitoring platform. Fourth, manage stack driver logging platform. Fifth, implement logging and monitoring access controls. Domain four, optimizing service performance. It contains three subtopics which are. First, identify service performance issues. Second, debug application code. Third, optimize resource utilization. Domain five, managing service incidents. It contains five subtopics which are. First, coordinate roles and implement communication channels during a service incident. Second, investigate incident symptoms impacting users with Stackdriver IRM. Third, mitigate incident impact on users. Fourth, resolve issues, for example, cloud build, Jenkins. Fifth, document issue in a postmortem. Preparation guide for the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer exam. When it comes to the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer exam, it is of utmost importance that you make the right choice and head towards a successful and rewarding career in the Google Cloud platform. So let's begin with the preparation. 
First, review the exam guide. Before heading towards your preparation journey, you must get yourself familiar with the main objectives of the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer exam. GCP provides the candidates taking its certification with a well-structured exam guide. Knowing the exam objectives is very important to get an insight into the exam. A thorough analysis of the exam guide will let you align yourself more deeply with the chief objectives of the exam. Second, GCP training. Google Cloud Platform offers this course, which teaches the service level objectives SLOs, theory. Candidates will be trained with the principles in describing and measuring the desired reliability of service. Moreover, this course also guides the candidates with the use of service level indicators SLIs, to quantify reliability and error budgets. The course will also help you gain expertise in the components of SLI and developing SLIs and SLOs for a service. After the completion of this course, you will learn the following skills. 1. How to make systems reliable. 2. Understanding SLIs, SLOs, and SLAs. 3. Quantifying risks to and consequences of SLOs. 3. Site Reliability Engineering Book and Workbook. GCP provides a set of books on site reliability engineering, which will help sharpen your skills. 1. Building Secure and reliable systems. Here in this book, various experts from Google have shared their best practices that can help any organization in designing scalable and reliable systems. Also, the book contains a guide to the preparation of strategies that are fundamentally secure for an organization. 2. The Site Reliability Workbook. This book beautifully showcases the methodology of using SRE principles and its practical applications. The book also contains several practical examples from GCP customers, of Google's experiences, and case studies. 3. Site Reliability Engineering In this book, the SRE team members have explained their engagement with the entire software lifecycle. And also, how this has enabled Google to build, deploy, monitor, and maintain the world's largest software systems. Fourth, hands-on practice. Gaining hands-on practice is an ideal way to crack any certification exam. As with the GCP DevOps Engineer exam, GCP recommends joining hands-on labs which are available on Quick Labs, and also GCP free tier to elevate your proficiency in the cloud platform. 1. DevOps Essentials. This quest will allow you to gain an understanding of the use of Google Cloud. With the help of Google Cloud, you will be able to enhance your software delivery capability in parameters like speed, stability, availability, and security. 2. Google Cloud Free Tier Through this platform, GCP provides you with free resources to gain a deeper knowledge of Google Cloud services, by allowing you to get enough practice. Google Cloud Free Tier covers the requirements of professionals at different levels, beginners, and experienced professionals. The Google Cloud Free Tier consists of two parts. Number 1. 12-month free trial plus a credit of $300 that may be used with Google Cloud services. Number 2, always free, it provides limited access to Google Cloud resources without charging money. Fifth, join the community. A healthy discussion is always beneficial, no matter where it is done. The same goes for online discussion forums. This is a nice way for the students to discuss their issues and get insights into how their competitors are going for the exams. An offline discussion is restricted to a small number of people, whereas online platforms can reach a wider range. The prospects of getting resolutions to an issue increase steeply when a greater number of people are involved. Forums work really well to build a community that is essential for understanding others. Sixth, self evaluation time, practice exam. Taking a practice test is a great way to diversify your study strategy and ensure the best possible results for the real thing. GCP offers the Cloud DevOps Engineer Practice Exam to enable candidates to gain insight into the pattern of questions asked. Analyzing your answers will help you identify the areas where you need to give special attention to, and will also let you know your alignment with the exam objectives. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.